I'm Anissia, and so for this year's National Mammal Week, organised with Mammal Society, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a pygmy shoe. So we're going to end up with something a bit like this, and so let's start from the beginning. So the pygmy shoe that we're going to be doing is um, this reference image. And let's just get started. So firstly, we're going to be drawing a circle in the left hand side of your page. So you want to keep your wrist nice and loose and just draw it like so. Next, we're going to add a slope that comes into the nose of the shoe. So it's a little bit like an S shape, just coming down from the circle. Just like this. And then we want to bring this into the cone, which is going to be like the nose of the shoe. It's a nice, like, short little triangle with a rounded end. And we're going to bring this back into the circle like this. Next, we want to draw an oval. So we want it to be nice and big and kind of round because the shoe has a big fluffy body. And after this, we want to connect it up to the head. So we get to just smooth off those lines. And just leave a couple of gaps for the legs and give it a little bit of a cheek here. So just follow down them with the circle. Just like so. Next, we want to add the tail for the shoe. So the tail is like a kind of S snake like shape coming from the back end from the bum of the shoe. So it just wants to be a bit like this. And then we want to add the legs of the shoe. So the legs are kind of a nice sharp line. So we've got the back leg coming down like this. And it's coming into three long toes here. And one, the fourth one just up here. And then the front leg from this kind of area. Again, you can see the toes on the ground. And I'm also gonna mark on the back legs, just really loosely. The ones in the background, just like that. So next we're going to mark on the ear of the shoe. The ear is a kind of big C shape, it's a bit like an arch, it, and it's just following this curve of the circle, just like this. And then we're going to add on the eye of the shoe. And the eye is what gives the shoe its character. It's one of the most important features in all animals in a wildlife art. And so you're going to draw a small circle just where the cone meets the circle, just here. And you're going to fill it in with a C shape, so pressing hard down on one side and flicking up. So this will give it a little playful glint in its eye. Finally, we're going to mark on the whiskers for the shoe. So all shoes have loads of whiskers. It's how they sense the world and experience everything around them. And these are just lots of loose lines coming from the shoe's nose in all directions. It's got really long whiskers, just like this. And there you have it. You can colour it in however you like. And I can't wait to see your shoes for this year's National Mammal Week.